Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Golden Gate Fields here on Friday. It is the 16th of September 2022. Going to look at the 8th race from Golden Gate, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. As I look at the 8th race from Golden Gate, which is a start allowance race, purse $20,000, race for 3 year olds and upwards, never start for a claim price $12,500 or less in 2021 or 2022. We have a field of six horses going the marathon staying trip of ground of 2,400 meters, if you want to go by that, or the distance of ground of a mile and one half on the Golden Gate turf, on the Golden Gate Tapita surface, excuse me, 2,400 meters, a mile and a half on the Tapita. And um, something that really annoyed me when I noticed the racing form this morning, um, they, they have the line. I, oh, I can move in. They have the line right there for the start, right there, and, and the race is going to start there. And that's a little uh, error here in the race form. But um, I don't remember them running mile-and-a-half races on the Tapita at Golden Gate. So I did some research. Um, they run in the Tapita surface era at Golden Gate, basically 2007 onwards. They've run one mile-and-a-half race on the on the the main track that was in halloween 2014 before that i found a race in 1994 that they ran on the main track here at golden gate going a mile and a half they've run a mile and a half races the last one they ran on the uh, turf here um was 2020 but uh, they don't run them on the main track very often so it's kind of rare uh with that being said my top selection, I'm going to go with the number six horse here, Honos Man. Let's go 6241 in the Superfecta. 6241 Super. Top selection, six horse, Honos Man. Six year old Gelden by Fleet Alex. Quinn Howley trains one. Armando Ayaza gets the mount. The horse's most recent nine came 28th of August at Ferndale, a mile five eighths in the Humboldt County Marathon. And he finished second by length that day. He sat back early. He slowly moved his way up, and it looked like he was going to win. But the win of Mount Peller, uh, who's running back in this one today, really Really closed up from nowhere to get the driving away victory, but this horse ran his heart out coming here a furlong left uh, less in this marathon. I think he gets something going. Two back, he ran against very tough horses at Delmar. Mile three, it's on the lawn and opts 40 claimer. He finished six by four and a half lengths that day and was stupidly wide and just never showed up. It just wasn't his day to win. And then a pleasant 10 going a mile 16th in the lounge race, 33,000, 9-1-X. He uh, finished third by neck that day. He had a very wide post row. He was off slow, very wide. He moved a little bit late, but, you know, he has to save some ground. His last victory came at Pleasanton on the 19th of June. First off the bench, a mile 16th in uh, claiming 25,000. Went by three and a half lengths, sitting back early and slowly moving his up way up late i thought it was a very good race he's won over a longer trip he actually won the humboldt county marathon in 2021 by half length closing up from nowhere i like him to see a little sit a little closer he's done you know he's only started once here at golden gate but that was a decent place a few seasons ago i'm gonna give him another shot here today i think you also have to use a two-horse mount pillar like i said most recently he won the uh humboldt county marathon very nicely and the races before that, Santa Rosa and Sa Sacramento, weren't bad at all. He should definitely get the trip. At 7-2, we'll definitely use him in the late pick four that, begins w that ends with this race. But to recap my selections for the nightcap, the eighth race from Golden Gate, let's take the six-horse Honos Man, give kudos to the two-horse Mount Peller, 6241 Super, 6-2 in your multi-race. So good luck to all, please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck, everybody.